Welcome back to Alcamilla. In the last episode, I picked up a bunch of tarot cards, but I have no idea where to actually use them, and I feel like I've visited everywhere, which means I must have missed something. So I'm going to go back through and find out what I missed, and when I find something, I will be right back. So, it seems that the tarot cards are meant to be used on the elevator where I originally came from. So realizing that, I went back through the notes and attempted to decipher them as much as I can. It's um, obviously referring to the placement. Like this one says something about the... Hanged for the crime he committed with the moon shining above. So it's saying that the... The, the moon tarot card is above the criminal. So I've written down what I can and let me see if I can get this. Wait, is it just... Can I not control which is which? Uh... Wait, what? Did it work? I, I didn't... <laughs> All I did was press E. I didn't actually do anything. I, I don't understand what just happened. Did it automatically solve the puzzle for me? I'm very confused. I thought I had to do something, but apparently not. Better I just like got really, really lucky, because all I did was press E and just automatically put down tarot cards. This hospital isn't supposed to be this high. The third floor was the top floor. I need to be very careful with my steps. Okay. Well, so much for that. Ew. Well, this isn't good. I need to be suffocating. Um, hmm. Oh, God. I have no idea what to do. I think these things are releasing toxic fumes. Can I kill them or something? Did I die, or was that intended?
Okay, it was intended. Something's wrong. Something is wrong. What's happening to me? The drugs? Dr. Kaufman. It's all his fault. Didn't I just wake up right here? This is where I saw the body. Remember? The, the body of the worker? And now the body isn't there. I woke up where the body was and the body's now missing. That's very creepy. I'm not sure if that means anything. But, uh, that's weird. Okay, well we're back to relative normalcy. Relative. Emphasis on relative. path is closed again, the key must be here somewhere. This music is so good! I keep saying that, but it's still really, really good. I wonder if the exit's opened up. Nope. this key being here earlier. Neither do I. Okay, let's go back to where I was before. That's where I need to use the key. There we go. With any luck, I can just walk out the front door. This is new. Preparation something something white. Claudia alias PTV. Report number 16. This preparation represents the diluted version of preparation blah blah blah. In small doses, the preparation causes hallucinations and symptoms resembling narcotic inebriation. Sale of the preparation will be carried out through the antique store Green Lion. Part of the diluted preparation will be given to the local cult known as the Order. With the exception of close confidants, disclosure of this document to anyone is expressly forbidden. So, you're selling a highly experimental drug through an antique store, and you're also going to give it away to a local cult. Why? Why would you do that? That sounds like a terrible idea. You know how we can make a cult even crazier? Give them drugs. Free drugs. Experimental drugs. I gotta go to the Green Line Antique Shop. Maybe I'll find Dr. Kaufman there. It actually let me out. It's been forever since I've been outside.
Oh god, I get to explore the foggy town. The fog is just so creepy. There's something terrifying about it. Not well not there's it's there's nothing really terrifying about the fog itself, but just what it can conceal. The world of nightmares begins beyond this wall. I'm pretty sure it began back there. Are you saying it's even worse out there? Construction barricades, but I need to get to the other side. I'm just thinking any second something is going to come through the fog. I'm going to see some twitching, pulsating, barely human sack of flesh just moving through the street coming towards me. Seems that this car is working, but I don't really need it anyway. You know what? I forgot to turn on the noise filter. There we go. Much better. Useless garbage, I won't dig into it. <gasps> Just a door, nothing interesting, I have nothing to do here. <laughs> this is the post office? That's a weird place for a post office. General store? General store? Yeah, that was my question. Why would the general store be up this case in an alleyway? Uh, up this staircase in an alleyway? Crichton Street, Kuntz Street. Isn't that the name of a an author of horror novels, like Dean Kuntz or something? I wonder if that's a reference. Golden Dragon. This place is nice looking. The dishes are sitting on the table. Has someone been here? Strange. The dishes are spotless. Guess I'll take a coin. Ah, I can finally get some coffee.
Oh, I guess here's the front the front entrance to the post office. around. I need to find a way around. This car's been sitting here for a long time. I don't think it's working. And here's a map. This place is pretty large. Okay, so where was I trying to find? It was the green pharmacy, right? I think so. The post office was that way, so if I keep heading this way and then hang a left, I think I should get to it. Although it looks like the road has been destroyed. So that's probably going to be the main issue, is getting around. some household goods. I don't need any of this. The machine is working, but I have no time for this. to work now. Wait, what did I just use? It must it must have been this, right? Because I don't think this thing takes coins, does it? Or maybe it does? I'm not quite sure what I'm using. No, I think it is this thing. I can get a drink, but I can't seem to take a cup. Um... Not sure. Maybe I could do something with that later. I don't know. The drink machine is broken. We tried to adjust it without any kind of equipment, but it didn't work. Someone has to go up there and check it out. The machine hasn't been working since last Wednesday. What's interesting, though, is if you press the buttons on the keypad in a certain sequence, 1356, then the thing starts ringing. One three five six. I'm gonna write that down. One three five six.
I still don't understand what the coin was for. Was the coin even used for this? I don't know, I kind of just mashed E and then something happened. I think it did. So you need a coin to use the drink machine and then you need to press the drink machine in the right order based on what the note says to get a key? Huh? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense in terms of the game gives you the clues necessary to figure that out, but, um, I, okay. Don't know where that key came from. I don't think that could fit through the uh, nozzle of the dispenser, but... All right. Okay, so I have a key for something. I don't know what, though. Could be for this. If I'm lucky, it's just this right here. Because I know this said it was locked. Nope, still locked. In that case, um... Well, it came from the general store, right? So I'm assuming it's for the general store? So let's go back up the alleyway. There we go. That is one of the largest locks I've ever seen, my god. That thing is a beast. A very old lock. How did it manage to not fall into pieces yet? Alright, so that's two locks that I don't have the keys for. There's that, and then one over there that said it was locked. Well, actually, I guess all of these could use keys. Freak storm hits Silent Hill. Dreams. That seems to stand out. I think that's important. I'm going to write that down, actually. That symbol and the word associated with it. There we go. A bottle of acid. Oh, that should come in handy. Could use that to... Actually, you know, I could probably use that to melt that old lock. What do you bet? If 
First, though, let's keep checking down here. Garbage chute. Looks like the garbage chute is in working condition. Hmm. Not sure what I would use that for. Alright, let's go see if this acid works on this old lock. Sweet. Perfect. Yeah, these definitely mean something. I'm going to write this one down, too. Darkness. So we have darkness and dreams. I'm just going to read this one in silence, because I don't think I can read it completely reliably. I guess we'll die of old age and no one will even know. In this old, forgotten town that nobody even seems to be in anymore. Doesn't want to abandon the town. Okay, well I can read most of it. Um, enough to see the part where it says... I hid the keys in the wardrobe. Also, I can't seem to find the key to the main entrance. I probably lost it when I was something something with Andy or whatever that says. So the main entrance key is lost somewhere, and the other key is in the wardrobe. At least I think that said wardrobe. Oh, so I guess they're the owners of the hotel. Alright, key to room 34. The old landlord's key. 
I'm just going to write down that that's for 34. There we go. Just in case. Man once had nothing but hatred and darkness. Pain permeated his very existence. Then God was born. Born in that pain. Born of a man and a woman who put their faith in the power of the sun. And so God came unto the earth, and he gave law and order to its people. He gave them flesh, time, and death. Thus, the people were happy, for now they knew the value of flesh and time. Time divided all into day and night. Night brought to man the realm of dreams. In dreams, they could build their own paradise, free of misery and despair. A paradise of happiness. A paradise of hope. Okay, so this is related to the, the dream and darkness symbols that I've seen. Man once had nothing but hatred and darkness. Then God was born. Okay, well, I'll come back to this if I need it. I feel like I might need it at some point, but I'm not quite sure how to use it. Oh. I guess I need to use it right about now. Actually, no, I haven't seen what these other symbols represent, so maybe I shouldn't do it yet. So I have two of these. I know that this one represents dream, and this one represents darkness. I might be able to get the other ones through trial and error, but let's just wait. Okay, so there's supposed to be a key in the wardrobe. Right? Wasn't there? Hmm. I mean, I already got a key. Maybe it didn't say wardrobe. I don't know. I don't see anything. Can't seem to open these things. Um, I guess not. Maybe not. Well, I've got a key to go somewhere. I guess that's what the key was for. I smell some sort of a valve puzzle. Ooh, hello. 
slash. Writing that down, there we go, slash, okay. That's probably all I need to actually finish that puzzle. I don't think I need to see the fourth one. Yeah, I don't even know what these things are controlling. Although, I do hear something. Is that a good sound? I have no idea. Is that a good sound? I guess, I don't know what I just did. I can't move them anymore though, so I guess I solved it? Yay, for accidentally solving puzzles! Water. I, did, I made water flow? Somewhere? Or something? I don't know. Anyway, I think I can go open that box. Okay, so I have dreams, darkness, and flesh. So the other one is... Well, I have no idea. But let's put these in order. Okay had nothing but hatred and darkness. So originally there was darkness. So darkness is the first one. Right? Yeah. Maybe the other one is pain? Maybe. Pain permeated his very existence, then God was born. Maybe the other one is birth. Let's assume that. Then God was born. Born in that pain, born of a man and woman. Mm -hmm. And gave law and order to its people. He gave them... He gave them flesh, time, and death. He gave them flesh. So flesh is one of the symbols that I already have. Okay. Time divided all into day and night. Okay, maybe the third... Uh, maybe the fourth symbol that I don't know is time. It could be birth, it could be time, I'm not sure. Night brought to man the realm of dreams. So then dreams is definitely last. Okay, so I believe darkness... darkness is first. And then it's either birth, flesh, dreams, or flesh, time, dreams. So let's assume it's the symbol that I don't know. So let's assume that's a birth, and then it's flesh, which is this. And then dreams, which is this. Okay. Yeah, so it was birth as the fourth symbol. A keychain from the apartment. Oh, that's... I, I guess that's all of the... keys for the entire apartment. I guess I can go inside of all those locked doors now. Sweet! Let's go say hi to the neighbors!
Now I can go to the second floor. Do I want to go to the second floor or go up to the third floor and go into the apartments? Um, let's go here. These apartments are so depressing. I can hear it. I can hear it being played, but it's very, very faint. Play louder. That's some impressive playing, actually. Good job, Ghost. I'm proud of you. a tape, but I can't seem to take it. Really looks like I should be able to take it. It really stands out. Okay, so maybe I got the water running for these places again? And maybe for one of these rooms I actually need water? Locked box. Hmm. Gonna read this in silence as well. Actually, this one is a lot easier to read. I can actually read the whole thing. But anyway, call me and the door will be unlocked. My number is... That seems important. I should write that down. 555-4584. Five, 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 four, five, four. tripod set up to 
take pictures, and there's a bunch of meat hooks there. Okay. End cages. I can just imagine what weird stuff happened here. Just an old toy. Mm-hmm. They sounded like the meat hooks rustling. Pro probably nothing. Probably just the wind. Right? Yeah, just the wind. Tape inside the camera. Camera has a tag, apartment 13. Okay, I should write that down. Uh, nope. I already messed it up. Camera. Apartment 13. Tape. Okay. I don't even want to know what these hooks are for. Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. I guess I can dial that number that I found from here to unlock one of the doors. I'm not sure which apartment that note was talking about, though. I don't think it mentioned it, so I'm not sure which one it's actually going to open. Well, we're here. We might as well do it. Thank you for zooming in. I was about to say, like, am I really supposed to... Click on, like, two pixels. Okay, so, five, five, five. Four, five, eight, four. Nobody answered. Maybe it opened anyway? Um... Actually, I can't even use it again, so I, I guess it must have worked. Yeah. Okay, so some apartment opened. Although I don't know which one. Oh, it doesn't represent birth, it represents God. Although I guess the birth of the God or something? Um, I guess I'll write it down just in case. God. Nothing further will fall through. The chute is clogged. Okay, I'm not sure which ones I've already been in before, and one is supposed to be unlocked, so I guess I should just try them all. I think I just went in this one. Oh, yes. It's the creepy one. No thanks. Already went in this one. It's probably on a different floor.
Yeah, I think it's on the third floor. Okay, well, I think I will end this episode here before it becomes too long. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we will explore the third floor and all of the apartments that I can now open with the keys.